Hey, what's going on guys? It is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm here with a brand new see my tutorial video because today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my layout in Unity. So a lot of people have been asking me, you know, Sam or Psycho, how do you make your UI look so unique? How do you make it look so uh, different than ours? So today I decided I would make a video because typing to a lot of people is not enough. So because a lot of people can't see it, obviously and um, even though they may have the same questions. So I decided I would make a video and sort of get done with it, not in a bad way, but I just wanna make sure that everybody sees how I actually achieve that because I wanna help you guys become a better level designer. And I believe that my layout is the best one that is going to suit for your level. So it's gonna be very easy for you to see what you're doing at the same time as you see uh, your game window and see from a, from the eyes of, you know, whatever post-processing effect you have on your camera. So it's gonna be really cool. And I want to show you guys this. And if you have any different layouts in, you know, on your channel or whatever, let me know in the comment section below. I want to check yours out. And if you have any tips, tricks for any level designs, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And without further ado, let's get started with this. So first and foremost, I want to start off with the scene window. So the default one that is actually by Unity is quite similar it's not very 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 different but it still you know has a difference too so what i usually do is i just move down hierarchy and i also move down inspector so that i have them at the bottom so i just want them to you know be at the bottom because that's where they're going to keep on being but it's not going to look like this so what i want to do now is i just want to drag the game window onto the right side there we go then i can just you know um, size it or scale it as I want to and I usually have 16 by 9 as a resolution so I'm gonna change it to that and you can see that there are gray windows or bars perhaps now so what that means is that this whole window is actually 16 9 but the bars are not included in that so if you just make your window smaller horizontally or if you increase the scaling vertically, it's going to disappear. These bars are going to disappear. And I usually, this is a personal preference once again, but I love having my game window bigger than the, all the other panels because it's really cool for me as a level designer mainly to see what I'm actually doing from the eyes of my camera. So I want to be able to see what you guys are going to see in a video uh, since I make speed level design. So. Um, what I usually do is I just have it as big as possible, but at the same time, I don't want this, the scene window to be minimized way too much because I still want to be able to work. This is my entire workflow. So I want to be able to go in here, fly around the world and change anything. So I want to be powerful there. So, um, I feel like this is quite big or big enough at least. And um, I'm going to keep that scale on the scene or game window and the scene window. So scene window is not really 4x4, four four, but it's almost like a rectangular. Uh, it's in a rect rectangular shape, but it's almost a box, as you can see. It's almost a cube, even though not really. So it's a little bit, you know, um, I guess longer than than a regular cube, but that's the way I usually like it. So, you know, you can change it to whatever your preference is, but I really do prefer it this way. So next stop, I actually want to play around with the inspector because it's going to be the one that I want to uh, move to the right. So what I usually do with inspector is that I have it on the right side to the absolute right and I want it to be independent. So when you have it as like this, it means that it's grouped up with a few different uh, modules, including project, console, uh, hierarchy, and an inspector last. So I want to have it as, as an independent sort of module or perhaps window on the right so absolute right and what i do is i also have hierarchy to the right but beside inspector to the left and the main reason why i do this is because inspect or hierarchy if i create a game object or I, actually i do have a game object so i have my main camera and i have my hierarchy here inspector here so if i click on main camera from the hierarchy is going to pop up on the right side right away. So it's not going to be a delay. I'm not going to have to, you know, go to a different window or open up a group or anything like that. They are just beside each other and I can delete, add or edit any component that I want to. And um, this is also very useful when you want to, you know, add post processing effects, but you, because you just click your main camera, add component, just, just you know, bombard with uh, post-processing effects that I which is what I do so this is a very easy 
sort of layout for me uh, in terms of how I, when I level design, because I really like this layout. And I'm not finished yet, so what I do is I also play around with the scaling of assets. I usually tend to have it a little bit smaller because I have quite a lot of asset packs. And especially when I make my level designs because I uh, save all my assets inside of one single project file. And then I also have a save copy and all that, but you know, when you have a lot of asset packs, you want to be able to, because some of these asset packs have incredible long names. So you don't want to, you know, shorten them out like this. You want to be able to see them and actually have a little bit of space here. So you can actually uh, see the difference between, you know, your project and your assets module. So it's actually just a projects module, but you can see your asset list on the left and then you can see your assets, uh, the actual assets that are inside of the folders and directories here inside of this window. So I sort of call them for different windows because they are, even though they're not really different panels. So it's a little bit tricky, but I just like to have it this way. And um, some people have also asked, what is the best size to use for your um, game or asset packs that you can actually view in this panel on the right side of your project tab? So I don't like this way because it's you know, I, I like scrolling down, but at the same time, I want to be able to, like, you can still scroll down when you maximize their scale, right? But I want to be able to see their, uh, for example, if I see a prefab or a texture, I can be able to see it right here before, uh, instead of having to click on it necessarily and then go to the inspector. Um, when I have it like this, I'm just going to see, in, you know, a small, tiny, tiny little icon or a texture perhaps for the actual texture and same thing for the prefabs and same thing for the animation so i want to be able to have it a little bit bigger so that i can see them easily without having to scrunch my eyes so this kind of scale is really uh okay for me i guess this is like 60 percent i guess 75 maybe nah 60 percent and you can see it at the bottom like you can see the percent but you can this is this is more um, about how your eyes work and how your preference is. So I prefer it this way and I keep it this way. So I also have a console and I have it grouped up with my project tab. So it's a lot more easy for me to have it inside of project tab because when I, for example, code and I add a component and then the code or the component gets an error, I can see it inside of the debug log here at the bottom, the uh, the log itself and then I can just click on console and still have my hierarchy inspector and game window and scene window open at the same time so it's not going to interrupt my coding my level designing or anything else I'm going to be able to see everything still and I'm also having the project tab right beside it so if I want to go back here for some reason which is project tab is the least or the last perhaps the the last one that you want to go back to when you have a compiler or because you just want to you know go ahead and fix it so you just have to have your hierarchy open your inspector open and perhaps your scene and game window they are not very important but hierarchy and inspector are very very important this is pretty much my um layout for for unity i also usually go to where it says default here i just go there and i you can see that i have also al already saved mine so it looks identical to this it's just the scaling is a little bit different and um also one more thing that i do because of my ocd is that i have these lines aligned perfectly <laughs> but it looks cool don't lie to me it looks really really good when you have the lines like that because it, you know it just adds this proportion of uh, making it look professional um i guess at least that's how it is for me maybe you don't really see that as a as an important thing but i forgot about it when i was showing you guys now so it's a it's a luck charm that i actually remembered because that's a very important part for me uh these lines have to be aligned it's just not gonna work otherwise like this is bothering me this way it's just bothering when i have them aligned like this it's really cool it looks it looks pretty good I'm really happy with it but once again i go to default and then i just save layout as something new so uh you can just enter a name here and then save it but um i already have my saved so i i don't really have to worry about that but let me know what you guys think about this layout i have seen that a lot of people actually enjoyed seeing this and a ton of people asked me why my layout looks different than others so i decided i would make this video i know it was not a really tutorial and i'm sorry that i wasted a video spot on this <laughs> But, you know, I just want to make this because a lot of people have been asking for it. So why not? I, I guess I don't lose anything on this. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, guys. Leave a comment down below and perhaps a screenshot how your layout looks because I am really interested in seeing other people's and I also was planning, I was planning on making like a challenge video where I sort of make a level design with a different, different layout. It wouldn't be very difficult, but at the same time, it would be quite difficult because I'm really badly used to this now. Like I can't use the default one by Unity. It's just so terrible. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, like button, and um, make sure to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.